Hello everybody, I'm Chris Provost and you're watching Pro's Park Pass and today we're going to Hong Kong Disneyland. Ah! Today's video is sponsored by our patron William T. Alright guys, let's go in here to Hong Kong Disneyland. <laughs> we don't really know anything about this park. We're going to experience it the best. Like what we're experiencing is what you guys are experiencing with us because this is brand new to us as well. You guys are walking in and Amanda cannot even handle this. She's so excited. You know there's that meme and it's that little girl and she's holding like a bunch of candy. She's at like a, a I don't know, sports game or something and she's like, yeah. that is me. I'm sorry, I'm probably like so annoying but I can't even help it. Like, this Oh, uh, don't be, don't be, don't ever apologize for your happiness. Oh my gosh. Look at this guys, you see Mickey surfing atop of a well. There she is, man. She's feeling it today. Super excited. We're about to go in through security and then we'll show you as we get in the park. Oh God, I'm so excited. I don't want to cry yet because we're not even in the park, but seriously, I'm like, I have to go to the hospital. Woo! I have to go to the hospital. Oh, there's a castle! You guys, we just got in. We are here, about ready to go in and go in. They have the left and the right entrance. I like to go left. Amanda wants to go right. So let's do this. I am going to say this, it's hot. Way hotter than it was in Tokyo. And I mean, this is like... Way hotter than South Korea. Yeah, this is really hot. Wow. Here we are, guys. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. Here we go, guys. Walking into Main Street at any Disney park always feels good. And... Oh, it's very similar to Disneyland. It feels like we're in Disneyland. It feels like we're at Disneyland, guys. Oh, oh. this feels like Disneyland, yes. There's the city hall right over there. Oh There's the art of animation right over there. They have curbs. So, you know, at Disneyland, they got rid of all the curbs, but they have me here. And so we're going along. Wow. It feels good. This feels amazing. This is so sweet. It is awesome. Okay, guys walk along you'll notice that the road is all brick and there are no horse tracks you know like the rails oh, so crazy. you guys Duffy and Friends is huge here even bigger than Mickey Mouse and even bigger than uh, Tokyo like uh, the hotel we're saying everybody is freaking out about this Amanda's even getting caught up she's starting to say that she wants to get one now one. Miles has his Miles got gelatoni right over there but man Duffy is huge here all right, guys, here we are. That is the castle. This is it, guys. I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you can see it. Oh my gosh, guys. Totally different than anything I've ever seen. Now, like you said, we're here in Main Street. We got Main Street Cinema. My journey's with Duffy, Duffy and Lena Bell. Duffy is massive here. If you look in the windows, it's all, it's all Duffy and friends. Bigger than Mickey Mouse. Like, it is huge. And, uh,. We got our bakery over here. We got some little shops. And this is the carriage house. And we're gonna kinda of take a look here. So we and see. Miles wanted me to tell you guys, if you look to the left of the castle, you can see Frozen right there. Yes, you can. This is Main Street Market right over here. This is the Center Street Boutique. Uh, right here, we have the Victorian collection. That's where the, the street is they can enter in, but it's like a little area here. The Curiosity really Shop. It Just, it smells like Disneyland. Vanilla-ish. Like Vanilla and cinnamon. We are slathered in sunscreen and you guys, it is hot, hot, hot. The park opened at, you wait for it, 10.30 in the morning. When we first heard that, we're like, that must have been a mistake. Translation error. So we double checked and we're like, nope, it's 10.30 in the morning. 10.30 to 8.30. And this is a Saturday. Yeah, and this is, a, this is like a Saturday or something like that. So there's a Plaza Inn right over there. There's some Amanda Miles Umbrella, and there's the castle again. So Castle View Gifts. And we're going to go right here and take a look at the castle. All right, so this is the castle. And Miles spotted Space Mountain, and he's like, Dad, let's do that one first. Now, they're lining up yet because we got in a little early. So we're going to do the rope drop. We'll go Space Mountain. But look at this castle. Let me get a little closer. Now, I'll get a little closer so you guys can see it. But that castle, wow. Very different colors. I'm sorry about the pole. I'll get a better shot here in a second. Hang on. Let me get a better shot. 
Miles wants to do Space Mountain. We're gonna wait in line to Space Mountain, but we will come back and give you a better view of the castle. There they go. Oh man, they are going. Let's go, guys. They're running. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. We are entering into Tomorrowland, guys. Oh, Miles wants to run. No, we're not. We're not gonna run, Miles. We're entering Tomorrowland, guys. We're headed over to Space Mountain. That's where everybody's going. It is hot. This is the hottest ever. Oh, I, this is even hotter than like Florida type of heat. Wow. We're entering into a hyperspace mountain. I think that part of that rush was just to get to the shade. Yeah. Oh, so hot. So this is hyperspace mountain, and waiting while you're waiting in line, there is an X-wing, the old school X-wing, red. Maybe that's red five. Nope, no, nope, that's not red five. Because look at that droid there. Do you know what call it? You know what you call a droid that likes to take the long way home? No. R two D. Tour. <laughs> oh, we just got inside. It's air conditioning. It's almost too cold, but it's not. I mean, like, it's not we are dripping. Ice cold. This is seriously such an experience. Like, I can't get paid. So far, this part to me feels so whimsical, and then also like think about is sweat. So part of me wants this secret word. It's going to be whimsical sweat. Whimsical sweat, guys. <laughs> this is much as I've ever been with the most whimsical part. Guys, we're going inside. They don't have a giant ship like the other space mountains, but they have the planets. Look at all the planets. The objective is to engage the Star Destroyer. I think it's very similar to what they have at uh, Disneyland. But it says the planet we're flying by is Jakku, and Jakku wasn't introduced until Ray, like seven, eight, nine. So this is taking place in the later, the newer Star Wars movies. The boarding station is very different. You know how like you walk around and over. You don't do that here. If you, you enter in right over there, and then you come down this ramp, you see there's no spaceship above, just the planets, and it's it's kind of quiet in here. We don't get a spaceship. We get. Baseball. All right, guys, we are in rows five and six, about to board. There's Miles. It's like, ah! All right, it's Hyperspace Mountain. It's similar to the one they have in Disneyland, except, you know how in Disneyland, when it's Hyperspace Mountain, they put like screens to project on, right? They don't have that here. Here, they're projecting on the whole ceiling, so wherever you look, you can see TIE Fighters, TIE Fighters flying everywhere. It's it, awesome. And it's amazing. It's not as smooth as Disneyland, though. It's a little more herky-jerky, but... Uh, oh, I it, felt it was great. Did you? Smooth-wise, I not, thought it was and good. it's not just like a bowl like this, Disneyland. It's like uh, Florida's go back and forth. Lots of ups and downs. Though. Some of the track felt very similar to Disneyland. Though. Yeah, so, it was amazing. Yeah, very cool. It was amazing. And check out this shirt. Oh, so awesome. And they have a little lightsaber building station. Awesome. They have the 100th celebration merchandise here, which we did not really see that in Tokyo. No, I don't feel like. Tokyo. And um, they also have pins, which they don't have in Tokyo. Lots of pins. pins. You guys, you come outside, your glasses fog up. It is Blistering hot here. Blistering. Blistering. Whimsical sweat. Whimsical sweat, guys. They do have like a premiere pass you can buy. It's about $70 and allows you to go to eight different attractions to skip the lines to go to the front of the eight attractions. Uh, Space Mountain is not included on it though, but that's why we did that one first. But almost every other attraction, you just choose which eight you want. It was $70, so we're like, we're doing it. So we're not feeling like too rushed. But, uh, yeah, after Space Mountain, it's like, okay, we did Hyper Space Mountain, and now we can kind of experience the rest of the day. The two attractions that I'm most excited for, the Iron Man Experience. Oh, the Iron Man Experience. We're so excited for that, for yes. personal reasons. Yes. And then also the Mystic Manor. Those are the two I'm, yes. I'm most excited yes. for. Yes, But mostly Iron Man Experience. But I think we'll do that next. Boy, howdy. Iron Man Experience. We are, here we are in Tomorrowland. That's the Starlighter Diner. And we are just kind of exploring. We don't really know. They don't have paper maps, so you have to do it all on your app. Oh, like Iron Man. Oh, Iron Man's right there. Let's go do it, guys. Let's go do it. All right, guys, this is the Expo shop. They have the Stark Expo and the Iron Man Experience straight ahead. 
And I got Ant-Man and the Wasp Nano Battle. We'll be doing that one as well. Let's go down here and take a look at Iron Man Experience. All right, guys, we just got in line for the Iron Man Experience here in Hong Kong. Uh, we're entering into what's called the Hall of Legacy. Check it all out. Here we go, where the future began. Stark ushers in the future at World Exposition of Tomorrow. Look guys, like the little, this is like, you see the Stark Industries? The campus is now, oh, the campus, uh oh. The enemy is on the march, it can happen here. We have to be careful guys, Hydra. There's Captain America's shield. There's the first one, the Mark I. Look at all these different Iron Mans. Oh, that's so good looking. Hot pants. It's a prototype firefighter suit. By the way, there's a song by James Brown called Hot Pants. It's one of Miles' very favorite. Look at the guys, there's the suitcase from Iron Man 2. What? All right, guys, there's Stark Tower and there's... Right there, we're gonna take off that little ship and Jarvis gonna fly around. I'm assuming Hydra's lurking out there somewhere. While you're waiting in line, they show you different types. This is Stark Industries. It's the Iron Wing Mark III. It's got a little fire action. This is the Iron Wing Mark VI. It goes underwater. This is the Iron Wing Mark V. It helps with construction. And here we go. This is the Mark VII for outer space. Oh, this one's this one's my. This is your favorite one, Miles. Yeah. And yeah. The music here reminds me of test track music. So that's kind of fun, a little like Disney glitch where it's like, oh my gosh, I'm in a test track at Walt Disney World. Like, no, I'm at the Iron Man experience in Hong Kong. And this is the Mark 8, and that's what we're going to get in. Now it's your turn to fly. Thank we're about to enter Jordan. and go in, guys. Kind of got like a Star Tours we entrance. Like to very excited. And for glasses. Information. Once we get off, we'll recap and tell you what the attraction's all about. What did you think, Miles? New favorite ride. New favorite ride. It was awesome. Oh my gosh. That was unbelievable. Oh my gosh. You guys, that was amazing. We just got done. Super fun. It's like, imagine like if you, it's Star Tours, but it's like Star Tours has gone to the gym. It got super swole. Then maybe use like a, some performance enhancing whatevers. It's amazing. It's awesome. So the way that it is, my glasses fog because it's so hot outside. The way that it works is you get in a little car, it takes you up to the top. Like you take off from Stark Expo here at Disneyland and you fly out of Disneyland. You see the, the, the you see Space Mountain, you see the castle, you fly around to Hong Kong Disneyland. Then you go up to Stark Tower. We get to the top of Stark Tower, uh, you get attacked by Hydra. They, they kind of look like the Omni droids made from Incredibles. They're like attacking and they knock you off the building. The Iron Man rescues you. Then you and Iron Man go fight these, the, the bad guys, Hydra. And then, you remember all those little those little things I showed you, like the Mark V, the Mark III, whatever? They all come flying in to help you because you need help. Then you kill all the little droids, and then they all say, a giant, huge giant, like, Duh! it's like, nah, it's bad, get it's like attacking you. And you're like, we all have to work together, what teamwork. And so like you and Iron Man and all the other little Iron Mark III, V, whatever, they all fire, and we all defeat Hydra, and then you land. Miles loved it. It was awesome. I just want to say this though, tell Hydra. So at the end of the attraction, this machine comes up and it's got like a, a fire extinguisher and Iron Man's like, don't you dare. And, but it does, it sprays firemen. And so uh, Iron Man's like, we're turning you into a coin press machine. And look at the exit guys. There's a coin press machine that they've turned into. <laughs> okay, that ride is a work of art. It so is fun. amazing. My favorite part is when like the bad guy, what is that? The claw thing, it like goes through the screen and then yeah. at the end Iron Man goes through the screen. The windshield. And then the windshield hits them. Like it's incredible. Seriously, mind blowing, a work of art. And I'm having another glitch moment because we came out. The music here is Avengers Campus music at Disneyland. So it's like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. It's so cool. But love, love this ride. Well done, you guys. Well done, Brian. Now we have to say this, our really good friend Brian Crosby, he's the one, one of the, this is like his baby. He, from the top to bottom, helped design this. He was a Disney uh, Imagineer, awesome friend of ours. And at the very beginning of the attraction, you see like these engineers are all standing there. And Brian was standing there and he's like, he like talking to you. And all of a sudden our little thing shoots out of the building. And Brian, your acting was so good because you like so ducked and you're like, you like, you sold it, buddy. You sold it. Cool thing to see yes. you here. 
this ride. It's just amazing. Well done, Brian. Uh, amazing Disney Imagineer. Miles, yeah. Miles, new so favorite So good. Ride. New favorite ride. So good. All right, let's continue on here, guys. All right, guys, we're still here in Tomorrowland. This is the Expo Shop. But right here, we have uh, the Ant-Man and the Wasp Nano Battle. That's where we're going to go to next. You can see the castle peeking out over there. But let's go into Ant-Man and the Wasp. In the back. Look at him. We shoot. Looks like he's got terrible aim. I got, I got a bad feeling about we this. We gotta shoot. shoot. I mean, a lot. I Who thought this was a good idea? We're going in and we're gonna get the guns to shoot. We're excited about it, guys. It looks like a Buzz Lightyear Astro Blaster. We're gonna go in, guys, and have some fun with this. You're gonna pick up your blaster. I'm gonna do blue, guys. Here we go. You, in the shirt, that's a weak spot, but not enough. He doesn't have the data for everyone. Gotta aim for the triangles that are That's my score, guys. They're, they're uh, flashing, they get bright lights morning. Now we're back to the normal size. We shot all this circuitry. Look, there he is, the man himself, Ant-Man. Okay, so that was so much fun. I am usually not a fan of the Ant-Man and the Wasp battle, but that was the best battle I've ever seen. I mean, it's really but that to me was a blast. I don't know what it was about that one, but like I got so into it. I was like, pew, 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 pew. they did a phenomenal job. Like the technology and everything, like I just thought it was such a blast. And I got really competitive, so I need to go see what score Chris got. I have to see if I beat him. I had 76% accuracy, or like accuracy, or 75%. What did you get? What score? Uh, what did you get? What did you get? What did you get? You say first. I, I'm worried you're gonna cheat. I actually recorded my score, so they know what it is. Okay, what score did you get? I think it's like 725,000. Stop! Are you serious? Are you serious? Yeah. Aww. What'd you get? 294. Oh, that's cute. I thought I did so good. All right, there's a Space Mountain, which is Hyper Space Mountain. They have a little uh, area there for shows. This is the Expo Shop, and the back there is Iron Man Experience and Ant Man and the Wasp. Interesting fact about Ant Man and the Wasp: it's actually a sequel to the Ant, the Iron Man Experience. If you can believe that, it's the, the first ride, to my knowledge, it has a sequel. How cool is that? All right, guys, we are back here to the, that's the main street. And there's the castle. And there's like a little walkway that way. We don't know where it goes, but I think we go to the castle. All right, guys, we're gonna go take a look at the castle. It is beautiful and it is tall, much taller than one at Disneyland. Disneyland might equal like about that size right there. It's very, very tall, unique color schemes. So, nice. And apparently they have some type of performance down here that you can watch. And if you do get this watch from the performance, you can get wet. I don't know, but we have to walk around because we got to get closer. And I didn't realize that this is like a viewing area for the castle. All right, we're walking around to get closer to the castle. Okay, walking through here and looks like they have Cinderella's, or not Cinderella, Snow White's Wishing Wells check that out and then we'll go check out the castle right there there's snow white's wishing well there's snow white and the seven dwarfs there they all are oh the fish the fish just came out and she's singing i'm wishing i don't think fish really do that in real life but look at the frogs are spitting as well there we go, and then there's Snow White. It's beautiful as always. Oh, you guys, it echoes in the well. Can you believe that? No way! They give me the chills. They give me the chills. It it's echoes. Degrees out here and I have chills. Listen to that. There you go. 
you hear that? Hear? That is so cool. All right, let's go take out the front of the castle and walk through it, guys. It's our first time doing this here at Hong Kong. And here's the beautiful castle. Very tall. It's got like a lot of pastel colors. There's Amanda and her purple. Whimsical. Whimsical. Whimsical colors. So there we go, looking along. We got Enchanted, the Royal Reception Hall over here, and the Enchanted Treasures. So this is a meet and greet, right now it's Rapunzel. Oh, uh, look up guys, looks very pretty. And that way to Tomorrowland, and the shops. And they have the carousel there, and then we are now in Fantasyland, just like all Disney's. Now, as far as I can tell, I know, this might be the first carousel that is named after a female character, Cinderella. It's usually like a Sir Lancelot or Sir, you know, King Arthur. But this one here is the Cinderella Carousel. I think that is awesome. We have Pooh Corner Toys and Gifts over here. And then to the left, we've got, I don't even know what this is. We've got the, what is that? The Royal Banquet Hall. So Amanda and Miles are walking this way, so I'm gonna follow them. We'll see what attractions they have right down here. Look at Fantasyland, it is wide open. Wide, wide open. This is the Mini Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. We're about to go do the Mini Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. And here's a little attraction. Little honey pots. All right, we are gonna board a honey pot similar to the one they have in Florida. Now in California, they have vehicles. But here in Florida and Hong Kong, they have little honey pots. There's a man that picked in. All right, we're going on a very blustery day. One day in the Happy Wednesday. Happy if you Wednesday. Ask me, he's never going to reach that tree. I'm in the mood for food. <laughs> Knock down to Al's house. I'm <laughs> Come bounce with me. And we're bouncing. Bouncing, it's like Tigger. Tigger. Oh, he sees Tao. Oh, I almost bounced right out of the ride. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's gonna fall asleep. There we go for the half a lump of loose holes. It's very similar to Disneyland. It's similar, but oh, that's that's very similar to Disneyland. Together to say you may see, and your honey pot will begin moving again shortly. There we go. Thank you. That's, that reminds me of Amanda. At dinner, at dinner time. 
您乘坐的蜜罐。Darling, absolutely adorable, and it blows Disneyland's Winnie the Pooh out of the water. Like when it starts to rock, it is so cute. The rooms are so cute. But what's unfortunate is I feel like if I would have rode this first before Tokyo, I would have been like, Oh my gosh, this is incredible! This is so wonderful. But the fact that Tokyo's is like unreal, like Tokyo's is just—it's too much. It's unfair. Like Tokyo's Winnie the Pooh is unfair because it, there's no way to beat that. So. This one, so it's Tokyo Winnie the Pooh is number one. Like so, and you came in to describe how amazing it is. This is definitely like solid number two. And then you have Disneyland and Disney World, which are just nice little quiet rides. But this was adorable. All right, guys, we had to buy one of those fans. It is so hot. So we bought the Chippendale fan. Is what Miles chose? Whimsical sweat, says Amanda. I'm so sorry, guys. Hey, if you haven't already, could you please hit that subscribe button? It's free. All you have to do is hit the little subscribe button and it goes a long way to supporting our channel and it really is like a huge accolade to me and to my wife Amanda. It helps us feel good and we feel like, oh, we're doing a good job and you guys like the content. If you want to be notified after you hit the subscribe button, there's a little bell notification on the right hand side. If you click that bell notification, anytime we upload a video or go live, you'll be notified. We don't go live very often, but when we do, we try to do like a little giveaway. And if you like this video and you're enjoying it, just hit that like button. That's awesome. That's just, that's just saying it's like an attaboy, like attaboy job. Way to go, Chris. You're doing a good job. So please do that for us. Thank you. Amanda Miles walking up ahead, kind of exploring this area. We don't really know it, so we're just going wherever the wind takes us, I guess. Oh, look at this statue. There's the broom coming right up there to Mickey. So they have this thing here at Hong Kong Disneyland where you can pay to have one of, you know the photographers they have at Disney that take photos like at Main Street, whatever? You can pay and one of those photographers will t follow you around for 30 minutes and take you all the major photo spots. You get right expressed to the front of the photo spots. They take all your pictures and then at the end they give you all the pictures in like a photograph album. It's like, it takes this for 30 minutes. I was like, that looks kind of fun. So I looked into it. It is sold out until middle of August every day sold out and people love it I was like that's such a cool thing what a great like souvenir like a good memory maker all right guys we are gonna go do it's a small world you've got to go do it and like look at the background those are it's like Tokyo I mean sorry Hong Kong design it just like nestled right here in these mountains and Amanda's like saying it's paradise it's paradise paradise there is it's a small world let's go check it out do you guys want to know how hot it is? Our phones are overheating. <laughs> it's like so hot. All right, here we go. This is the entrance to It's a Small World. It's beautiful. I love that it's like the cool colors. It's the cool oh, pastel it's colors. Oh yeah, this is so I, I, whimsical. Amanda says whimsical. whimsical. It's very whimsical. Oh, here comes the, here comes the parade. Here comes the parade. And the little thing turned her upside down. They do that in Tokyo Disney too. Sand. Pretty characters. They look a little bit different, but the same. You'll notice there's no. We're going inside. We don't see the boats outside, so we're gonna go inside and check it all out. I guess no boats. Going inside. It's a small world. There was like no line for it, and uh, I'm surprised because it feels so good inside. It goes so high. I thought this would be like a massive popular attraction, but nope. Oh, look at this. Check it all out. Fun fact about the song, It's a Small World, is it's a song that's probably been played more than any other song in existence of songs. It is always playing. The sun is always shining on It's a Small World. No matter where you are in the world, at some point, the sun is shining on uh, It's a Small World in one of the theme parks. And it's always playing 24 hours a day, playing somewhere in the world with the sun shining because it's got all the six Disney parks around the world, when it rotates, the sun is always shining on. It's a small world and always playing. So I've, I've heard a statistic. It's the most played song ever. It's always playing. It's always playing. All right, guys, we're just taking off and going into It's a Small World. Here we are. There's a little sign that said North Pole. Look, it's Bambi and Thumper on ice. So here we are, guys. 
entering into Europe. This is Eiffel Tower. Big Ben. They have that in Disneyland. Peter Pan. Cinderella. With the castle, guys. And there's Wendy sitting in the moon. Pinocchio. You don't see that often. Look at that exit track. Look at that goat. A sheep. So cute. Welcome to the Middle East. Aladdin and Abu. Now we're about to enter into Africa. There we are in Africa. There's a crocodile, I guess, and a frog on his back. Simba up there. This is different and new. Hey, this for Canada. Jesse and Woody. There's Woody. Pocahontas. And coming in the Golden Gate Bridge, right by New York. Welcome to Asia. Now we're in Asia, and look, there's Baloo. says, welcome to the islands. Look, they have the starfish. They always have like, there's Dory and Marlin, but look, they have the starfish. I love that. Look at all this. Look at the fire dancers. Look at the koala bears. It smells like coconuts, you can smell coconuts. Now we're coming into, welcome to the rainforest. Look at that. Now we're coming into the finale. all the ways people say goodbye. This is a chow tem bit. I can't read those. Aloha. That right there says Anyang Yi Ka Shipshio. Go in peace. Au revoir. Goodbye. All the different ways people can say goodbye. Palam. Choir Harry. Amanda's like, whoa, they showed New York in it. And she's like, I don't think anybody else does that. I'm like, I think Disneyland Paris actually has a little section in New York as well. But uh, other than that, no. So, loved it, very cute. Very cute, I love seeing New York in there. And I love seeing like the panda and uh, that, was, that was super special. But my favorite was maybe the little sheep. Oh, I don't know if you even got the camera, but they were so hilariously adorable. They're just like, 
They're so cute and they're freaking fuzzy. Yeah. Okay, this was my choice. We stumbled on this. It says pineapple soda with mixed fruit. That is like my perfect little drink. I cannot wait. Never mind. It's cash only. That's how it was in Tokyo. Those little stands were cash only. We don't have any. So we're going to uh, exchange some cash probably at the hotel tonight. Come back for that pineapple soda because that smells so good. Now here's something cool about the parks. Disneyland is the only teacups that is covered as you, or excuse me, uncovered. Disneyland is uncovered and then everywhere else is covered. Everywhere, everywhere else around the world has, uh, you know, a cover over it. I feel like I'm repeating myself. You guys, you guys get what I'm saying. And then there they are. So cute, so cute. I can't wait to see them at night. Hey, and I'm just checking in. Have you clicked the subscribe button yet? Just double check and then click the like button and leave us a comment. Leave us the secret word for today is whimsical sweat. <laughs> but really, those are free things to do and it helps us out a lot. It really does help us out, out a ton. This is a lot of effort, a lot of energy, and a lot of sweat. And just having those little comments down below and the like button clicked just means the world to us. Now, if you're feeling super, super generous and if you enjoy this content and you want to see us continue, click the share button. Even if you just share it to yourself, click share, share it as a text message to yourself and then click the video from there and watch it all the way through. That's something huge that you can do. Um, again, it's free. It'll probably take you less than 30 seconds to do that or send it to your spouse or send it to your family or your coworkers. Blast it on an email blast to like your whole family, you know, to your grandma, like anything like that at all we would appreciate it so much more than i can tell you we could appreciate it so much all right let's keep going with our experience today so far so good even with the heat i absolutely love it and thank you for being here we're back in fantasy land uh we are actually going to go get some lunch right now it's lunch time but look how open it is it's so open um, it does not feel very crowded at all, which is amazing, but I love it. It's so airy and spacious and open. And then there's the castle from behind. That is so cool. Oh, that is so cool. So unique and original. I mean, this is, this is one of a kind. I love it. Here are Dumbo, the flying elephant. And then Philhar Magic is over there, which I definitely want to do. And then we have uh, lunch. We're doing this royal banquet hall over here. I was excited about this because they actually had a marked plant-based option on the menu. Like it was marked by itself. So I'm excited for that. And then here's the castle again. Let's go eat. All right, guys, we just got some food. And check it out. When they come, when they order your food, they bring it out. Well, they don't bring it out. You have to they have like a little tray. You see a little cart over there? You put it on the cart. Oh, and I had to here. work for that cart. You had to find that cart. Mm -hmm. And then you have these little... It looks like we have so much food. That is, what is that one? What is that one That's, over there? This is the uh, vegetarian salad with potatoes. This is the meat lover pizza. And this one is Miles. Uh, children's chicken and rice. And then we've got some garlic bread and Dumpling, some dumplings and, dumplings and some little desserts. All right. You guys, we had a casualty though. We had a casualty. I'm so sorry. The Amanda, Fanta. Amanda spilled our Fanta all over. So, rest in peace, Fanta. Water and we have that. Look at this Mickey pizza. <laughs> All right, we got done eating. We're now gonna go do Mickey's Philheart Magic, which is the same around the world. It's something Miles really enjoys, so we're gonna do this. All right, we just got done with uh, Mickey's Philheart Magic. It was very cute. It's, it's the same wherever you go. And we just met with a Hong Kong Disney cast member and he's so kind. He made our day. He made our day and so encouraging about the going out the world tour and we wanted to know what we thought of their park and we told them we absolutely love it. I have to tell you guys, we've only been here like a half a day and Amanda's already like, mm, should we get Emmanuel passes? I was like, what? I love it here. I, I can't love, even handle I just, it. I'm even, even like gonna start crying even just talking about it, but I'm trying not to cry, but that cast member was so incredible. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, now let me show you where we're going. All right, so they have Toy Story Land, we're at Mystic Point and okay, Grizzly Gulch, there. guys. Let's go there. I really am so grateful for that cast member to take time out of his busy day. Um, I did not ask if I could share his name on camera, but if he's watching right now, you know who you are and you can mention, like you can leave a comment like, oh, it was me, if you feel comfortable with that. But I just wanted to respect your privacy if you didn't want your name on camera. But it was, it was just such a treat. It was just such a treat to meet the cast members. Okay, so this is really awesome. It says Mystic Point right there, Toy Story Land, and then Grizzly Gulch. Now, I really don't know anything about this park. I'm experiencing this with you guys as it unfolds before me, but 
the Mystic Point, I'm assuming, that's Mystic Manor, has to be there, right? That just makes sense. And then Toy Story Land, self-explanatory. And then Grizzly Gulch, to me, sounds kind of like a frontier land of sorts. Uh, and here we are. Oh my gosh, Toy Story Land, so cute. Here we go, guys. Prepare to become toys. I love this. You notice the benches, they are like those popsicle sticks. And we're walking into Toy Story Land, guys, to infinity and beyond. Come on in. Oh, I can't wait for the rest of the toys to meet you. All right, guys, we're entering into Toy Story Land. This is very unique. I love this. We don't have Toy Story Land in uh, Disneyland, but they do have it in Florida. And they got different attractions. Look at all the Tinker Toys. The green, uh, it was the, the Army Man parachute drop. Andy's Toy Box. Let's go to Andy's Toy Box. Is that a store? Oh, you guys, look at this hat and this shirt. Oh, look at this fun little store. There's a lot of cool merchandise. I'm gonna give you a sneak preview of it, but I think what we need to do, babe, I'm gonna put you on the spot. We need an Amanda's merch video where you go around and you look at all the different merch. Can we do that? Yes, absolutely. All right, so we'll do a video, one full video of all the merchandise here at Hong Kong. As long as you guys join me for it. I want you to be sure. here with me as I go shopping. Sure, sure. You guys, Lotso is very popular here. Very popular. Very popular. Not as popular as Duffy, but he's yeah. a thing. He's a big deal. You guys, what I'm about to say, I do not mean to offend anybody or make anybody angry, but I do not like the character Forky. There, I said it, it's done. I just don't like that character. All right, guys, there's the RC car. They have that in Disneyland Paris. And they also have this parachute jump, which we need to check. And the Slinky Dog Spin. This is, oh, look, spells toilets. This Toy Story Land is very much like the one in Disneyland Paris. Okay, so we have a little premiere pass to do the Slinky Dog Dash. It is really hot. I don't know if you can tell, but I am sweating like crazy. We've been drinking a lot of water, but still got to keep hydrated, but it is really hot. Like, <laughs> In order to ride Slinky Dog Dash, you have to be sober and in good health. Getting them all ready to go, and we have the Slinky Dog Spin Bark Pass. Oh. Barking so, Pass. Barking Pass. When the attraction's going, you see Slinky the dog at the very beginning, his feet are moving up and down. So hot and hilarious. You should have heard me earlier when I was trying to talk Whimsical. about the teacups and how like Disneyland is uncovered and then the rest are covered. And I was like, <laughs> so Disneyland is covered, I mean uncovered, I mean all the other ones are, unco I mean cover uh, riveting conversation, secrets revealed. Huh? <laughs> Do you guys want to see my hit, favorite hidden Mickey? Showing my legs right now? Right there. Oh my gosh. There I love that little Mickey. It's natural. Hidden Mickey. All right guys, we are going. I want to go faster to get a breeze. Now we're picking up the speed. Let's get that breeze. Right, Miles? Yeah. Now we're really picking up the speed. <laughs> now it's out of control. I am like white duckling it. I'm going to white duckling All right, guys, we're going to do the parachute drop. Here we go. You guys, look at the bench. It's one of those little train track pieces. There they go. Little drops. And then it goes up again, and then you hear the sergeant you're like, go, go, go. As you drop down again. There's a little, little spotter going up. And you can hear like plane sounds, like plane, like you're parachuting on a plane. That was super fun. Now we're gonna leave Toy Story Land. Oh, there's Rex. Got caught up in a yo-yo. He's had his ups and downs. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go now. We're in to, into Mystic Point. And this has one of the best attractions we've been told is. They're like, kind of like the Haunted Mansion, but it's called Mystic Manor. Here we are transitioning into Mystic Point. Here we go. Grizzly Gulch in Toy Story Land. That way, Grizzly Gulch that way. 
walk it through. It's almost like Adventureland, but they do have an Adventureland we'll get to eventually. But this is uh, totally different. If you're wondering what that building is right there, that is a buffet, the Explorer's Buffet. And then this is also like a little shop right there, the archive shop. This is what we want to see is there's Mystic Manor. This is the equivalent, this is the like haunted mansion, but it's very different, it has a different story and they call it Mystic Manor. So, and it's very colorful. This is the beginning of Mystic Manor. The entrance. Well, I was like, that doesn't look scary at all. It doesn't, it looks very pretty. All right, so this is the entrance. And it says on the plaque, it's like, we're going to see some antiquities with some surprises. There's a collection of Lord Henry Mystic. Arms and armor, Egyptian antiquities, Chinese salon, tribal arts. This is the queue where we need to get inside. The queue doors just opened up and we're going in. This is like, like a little room to, it's kind of maybe like a stretching room, I guess. I don't know. Welcome to Mystic Manor.
Uh-oh. Oh, no! because I feel like I've heard about Mystic Manor for a long time. Everyone talks about Mystic Manor and how awesome it is and how original it is and how unique it is and just the fact that we're here and we wrote it and we were able to experience it was such an honor. It's an incredible attraction. Um, it is so unique. Nothing like I've ever experienced before with a Haunted Mansion themed ride because it's not Haunted Mansion, it's Mystic Manor. It was insane. It's it was amazing. Amazing. It's amazing. It's like a trackless system, but they made it fun. There are some scary parts, but nothing too much. Very thrilling, and it's definitely like earned a spot in my top five favorite attractions. Actually, it might be my top three. I need to really think through my attractions list, but top five for sure. Definitely. It's incredible. My Mystic Manor with the characters. Can you see that? It says Mystic Manor. Oh my gosh, right now I feel like I have to do a moment. If you guys put your hand on your heart, take a deep breath. Blow it out with me. I am so happy that you guys are here. I'm so happy for your positivity. I'm so glad that you guys are here with us and you're part of this community. Now I want to talk to you personally. Yes, you personally. Take another deep breath for me. Blow it out and tell yourself, say, I am here on this earth for a reason. I am loved. I am safe. I am welcome to be here. I am truly unique. I am the only me on this earth, and there's a reason why I'm here. I'm so grateful that you guys are here. I'm so, so honored and so grateful, and we're so honored and grateful to be here. All right, let's keep going. So right out here is like three pillars, but if you look right here, right through here, you have a viewing station, and let's see if we get through that. Look, it makes one photo. That's three pillars. Because I don't know if they have this in America. You have to. So I am Groot popcorn bucket. All right, so we're leaving now, Mystic Manor, and Mystic Point, and we're headed into Grizzly Gulch. Kind of like I guess Frontierland. It sounds like Frontierland. Feels like Frontierland. It looks like Frontierland. It must be Frontierland. <laughs> Here comes the Grizzly Gulch, and that looks fun. And I think you end up going backwards at some point too. See, I think they're coming backwards. So that is called Grizzly. I'm not sure. Miles will go check it out. And we are here in now Grizzly Gulch. They have like a little geyser over there erupting. It looks like a little splash pad. Again, this is our first time being in here. So we don't know much about it. There's a bathroom. Grizzly Gulch Growler and the Lucky Nugget Saloon with Big Grizzly Mountain. Big Grizzly Mountain, that's what we want to do. Runaway mine car. 
look, they have a battle where you shoot water at the opponents over there. You pump it and it shoots. There's a man to taking it like a man. And this erupts. Let's have Amanda go by the geyser when it erupts. Well, there goes the geyser. Back up, back up, you're too close. Oh, there she goes, she's taking it. Whoa, whoa. She didn't get a drop. Not a single drop, not a single drop. This feels amazing, they have like a little, oh, there it goes again. Amanda wants to get in it, but. Oh, that's not so pretty though. Just kind of missing it. This is just like Yellowstone, guys. Look how pretty that looks. Oh, it's gurgling. Amanda literally was like trying to switch the water away. Oops. It feels kind of good. It is hot. Whoa. It feels good. Amanda's just playing with it. These little geysers are so pretty. All right, we're gonna go do the Big Grizzly Mountain. So I was told that if you take Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and Expedition Everest and they had a baby, then you get this one. Well, I was like, back row's better. Nine and 10, they got 10. Big Grizzly Mountain Mining Co. Here comes our train. Here goes Miles and Amanda. You look so happy. That was so fun. That was so fun. It was so fun. It's so unexpected. It's exactly a perfect explanation. Everest versus Big, Big Thunder. Thunder. Because you're going forward, then at one point you're going up a hill, and all of a sudden you see the cable, it snaps, and they have this thing that goes, and all of a sudden you start going backwards down the hill. You're, and that actually startled me a little yeah. bit. Like, I was like, ah! Oh. And then you go in, and then a bear sits on dynamite and shoots so you out forward. It was really cool. Super smooth, super fast, yeah. super thrilling. Like that Very was great. Slight, like, woo, I love woo. it. A blend yeah. of Big Thunder and Everest. Perfect blend. So original, so good. Such a great good one. Coaster. You guys, it is so hot. We're trying, we're trying to keep playing along, but it is incredibly hot. It is bearable though. We're just sweating, drinking lots it. of water. Oh, lucky nugget. Like the golden nugget? Yeah. Cool. You guys are doing a little Coke break. <laughs> Feels so good. Yeah. And Miles got a little Mickey bar. Got Coke. a little sugar in us. A little sugar. A little, a little frozen little, sugar in us. Little, Keep us going. going. <laughs> All right, so see how they're going up? Watch right there on the red wheel, the cable is going to pop. Watch. It, oh, it snap, And they all go backwards. Oh, good. Okay, we're leaving Grizzly Gulch. And now we're headed into, I think this is Adventureland. Here we are in Adventureland. Let's see what they got up here ahead. Theater in the Wild. That's the Lion King show. So they have some rafts that take you to the island. That's Tarzan's Treehouse. Tarzan's treehouse is closed. Like almost like every treehouse at every park has been closed. I don't know why. Tons of people are running to go to the Lion King show. Now we know it's gonna be amazing, but we still want to explore. We've seen the Lion King shows before, so we want to keep exploring the park as much as we can. So we are gonna to go to the Jungle Cruise. That's what we want to try to go do. It's the jungle. It's called the Jungle River Cruise. A beautiful area over here. I don't know what it is. Looks like it's a well, maybe some kind of pavilion for show or something like that. We are going to keep going over here into the Jungle River Cruise. Here we are at the Jungle River Cruise. We don't know anything about it really, but you know, Jungle Cruise is amazing, so it's got to be amazing. Yeah, there's that Tarzan treehouse, it's closed. Every park's treehouse has been closed. And there it is, there's our tour guide. We really won't understand what they're saying, but we'll kind of get the gist of it. This video is brought to you by our Patreon, William T. Now, William, there's a man right there. William, his message is, when he turned 50, some of his family members and friends took him on one of his favorite uh, vacations. He took him to Disneyland and took him to the, uh, the Grand California. He spent a, a wonderful time there with his family and friends. He said it was one of the most magical experiences that he's ever had. 
and he wanted me to tell his family and friends who planned that wonderful birthday trip for him. He wanted to say thank you and tell you how all how you all are all so amazing, and that it's a memory he will treasure forever. William T, you are amazing. Whoa, guys! We saw explosions of fire over there for the Jungle Cruise. Now, when he came through, it was very exciting because they sit there and they hand they were like they had a bunch of different language cards, and uh, they they looked at us like English or yes. So we have a ling English language card for the Jungle Cruise. So they put us on a cruise, and this cruise apparently is going to be the English cruise. That's awesome. So they also have a Cantonese and a Mandarin cruise. All right, we're about to board the English Jungle Cruise. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, we're with Holly Emerson again today. So welcome to the World Famous Jungle Reaper Cruise. I'm your skimmer today. My name is Brian. Hello. Hello. Okay, so before our journey starts, can any explore what is the building on the world right hand side? Anyone know what is it? Yes, that is the Thai Sanctuary House. That's a hot trip. My answer, you're so nice. Oh, oh. Well, I hope the longest river in the world. It is 6,000 kilometers. But don't worry, I know the shortcut and I can bring you guys take a quick tour. So let's see, there's the mother elephant and the baby elephant. Seems like the mother elephant is teaching his little one to use his truck. How sweet is it? So who is on the right hand side? There's the brother elephant. See the wrinkles on his skin? It is because he has thick bubble 24 7 non stop. If you don't wish to get a skincare like that, remember, don't take so long bath, okay? And save and go with water for the world. Oh, but I can't promise you he won't do it twice. Um, so the passenger at the back be careful. Oh, yo, yo. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay, so we're moving off. We are arriving at the old temple. See the big spider on your left hand side? They're the world's largest spider. If they jump, they can jump over 20 feet. But don't worry, our river is just only 10 feet wide. Yeah, so in front of us, there's the old temple Ganesha, the elephant god, and the king cobras. The king cobras has been the quickest and the poisonous animal in the world, which is why they are assigned for such important job. But I remember there are three king cobras. Where's one more? On our left hand side. Ayala. We should pass it quickly before they discover us. Oh, hey, there the crocodiles. See how big they open their mouth and their teeth are so sharp. If you don't wish to be their lunch, remember keeping your hands on free and legs inside the boat, okay? Or else I cannot save you. Woo okay, so moving on. What is that? They're holding the gun pointing at us. According to my data, they should be going over hunting so we can take a slight visit, but maybe quietly. Oh. Shh. Oh, you guys are so brave. Give yourself a big 
What was that explosion and then water? <laughs> what just happened? That Miles, whoa, what the? Oh my gosh, a leaf. It's where there's like a big bug or a big spider. So Miles just said, that's not Jungle Cruise, that's Wild Cruise. And I agree, that was so unexpected that fire and explosion and water coming through. That was fun, like it's all like misty. Oh, that's a nice little like mister back there. That looks nice. We need that. But yeah, Miles is freaking out. We're all freaking out. That was so fun. And to have an English boat was really awesome. It was pretty empty, but it was awesome to have an English boat. And they have some of the same jokes as they do at Disneyland. And it's just a ton of fun. But fun explosion su surprise. So right over there, there's a little area. There's spring water. The kids are playing. Every country we've been in, Miles has made friends. Every time. They might not speak the same language always, but they play the same games, they laugh, they're running around and just having a good time. And he just enjoys it. I love it. And I love watching it. It's so special. It's because awesome. just like you said, they might not speak the same language, but play and smiles and, and laughter, laughter. It's all the same. It's all the same. It's amazing. All right, we are leaving Adventureland. I'll show you. There's the Adventureland sign right there. And we're headed back to Main Street. Amanda wants to go look at the castle. So if you remember this morning we got here, that's when you turned right and went right into Tomorrowland. We're now at the top of Main Street. Oh, but they have like little vehicles. And we're gonna turn right over there and there's the castle. Man, it is bright though. There's a, one of the Main Street vehicles. I love it. Taxi cab. All right guys, we're right here in front of the castle and they're having a show in 15 minutes and we got front row, but they told us if we're here, we'll probably get wet. But I it's love so hot. Wet. Yeah, it was so hot. We're like, let's do this. Join us now as we embark on a journey. A journey that includes some of your favorite Disney friends. Whoa. Whoa. Fun. Whoa. Oh, I see Daisy. I love it because Daisy doesn't get a spotlight very often.
Castle, it's gorgeous. The show's still going on, but it started shooting <laughs> water like crazy. We are soaked. And man, it's like we're out of here. Well, we jumped out of line. Seriously, look at that. Miles is drenched. We're walking over here because now we want to go see the wondrous book. Hey guys, we're gonna go in and see Mickey's wondrous book. But before we do that, I just want to take a quick moment to talk about something also super wondrous. You know what that is? It is you. And I am talking to you. And you might be thinking, well, you're not talking to me because I'm not. Well, I am talking to you because you are. I know that some of you are struggling right now and I don't know why that is. Some of you right now, things are great in life. And if you, if it is great in life right now, I just want you to know it's awesome. Just hang on to that moment because it doesn't last forever. But some of you might be struggling right now. You might be having a difficulty with a, a loved one or a relationship, or maybe your job is just really hard right now. Or maybe there's a reason out there you don't, you feel underappreciated. Or maybe you just have depression. If that's your case, I want you to know in your heart that you are amazing. You make the world a better place by being here. You are wondrous. You are 100% amazing and wonderful. And we think you're wonderful here at Post Park Hustle. Never forget that. All right, guys, let's continue on with our day. It's been a really fun one. It's been a hot one, but a fun one. All right, we're walking into it's the Wondrous Book. Mickey and the Wondrous Book. It's right kind of by Small World, right over there. Special little theater. Doesn't matter what park you're in, the custodial cast members rock. You actually are given permission to videotape as long as you don't turn on your your like bright light, so that's exciting. Yeah, we're still a little wet from that. Yeah, we're wet and soggy, but yeah, people but they rush into the show. We wanted to be here for this show. We lined up maybe 45 minutes early, 45, yeah, 45 minutes, minutes to an early. hour early, and there are tons of people ahead of us.
ますか終了もう終了まいちゃおろーポンヨウちゃいトモファンのヨーロッパペンSo fun. What did you guys think? I mean, you got to see parts of it too. Like that was. It was like Broadway level. It's like being in a rock concert because every time a new character come on, the crowd was like, ah! like ah! and it was so much fun. Just the energy in the, the crowd. The dancers were incredible. The singers were like the beautiful voices. King Louis. Not Chef's out kiss. Of the park. So good. And King Louis was my favorite. And I, I mean, it was so much fun. It was. I just, we were laughing and we have a great time. But that part when Olaf walked out without his head. Oh, I about lost it. It was hilarious. And but we said. also were laughing. Also, you hear Miles is just like, was just like shaking with and laughter. It was almost like you, you wanted to calm yourself because I was like, I'm going to get the inappropriate giggles now at this point. Have you guys ever got the inappropriate giggles? Yeah. Where it's oh, like yeah. you laugh and then it's laughing too much. Oh, it was, it was hilarious. So it was the cutest scene I've ever seen. It was so cute. He was melting, but no, yeah. that was just a really now, incredible show. And like we, the whole production too. Sorry, I have to keep talking about it. Like, yeah. That's so good. That was amazing. Broadway, like yeah, Broadway. Awesome. Awesome. Now, we had to show them at night. Where it's like here at Hong Kong Disney at night, guys. The lights are coming on. Let's check it out. Guys, check it out. There's the top of the castle, and the lights are on here. We're going to go to Main Street because we want to see Main Street with the lights on here at nighttime. There's, it's a small world. Looks great. You guys, look at these lights in the trees here in Fantasyland. It goes down there. It just lights up so good. You guys, I gotta show Jill and Tony because he got a little bow from, from the, the streamers. Show. Yes. Good old Jill and Tony. All right, so we're gonna go to Main Street, show you what Main Street looks like. But just so you guys know, this is what's gonna coming up. We're gonna do, Amanda's gonna do all this merch here at Hong Kong Disney. They have, some, they have something so cool and amazing here, you're gonna love it. I'll give you a hint, headband, but they should explain. And also, I'll do a full tour of Hong Kong Disney. So those videos are coming up. So make sure you have that subscribe button and uh, the bell notification uh, checked. But I mean, like literally, this world tour is still going. We've got plenty more parks to do and more things to do. That's right, so many more parks to do. Bonus parks still coming Bonus up. parks coming up. Bonus countries, bonus castles. Bonus countries, bonus lots castles, of lots of cool stuff. All right guys, before we get to uh, Main Street, look at the lights, We uh, Miles really want to do the Iron Man experience again. So we're gonna do that one more time. And then we're gonna go to Main Street, so. Let's go to Iron Man, then we'll meet you at Main Street. But you have to admit, Tomorrowland looks amazing, doesn't it? This looks absolutely amazing. We're coming for you, Iron Man. We're coming for you. You guys, look at that castle. They light it up. Wow. Wow, look at that castle. They lit it up so well. And there's the Main Street, guys. It looks really good. Uh, so fun. You guys, Amanda's going to go through all these shops, see all the different merch here in our, our upcoming video. There's a lot to see here, but wow, it's just so, look at that castle. Look at the castle. It's 
so magical. It's just magical. It feels like Disneyland. You know, I just think it's interesting. That it feels the Main Street feels a little bit smaller than what it is in. Maybe it's because there's no uh, like horses going up and down, but it's got a good feeling to it. Look at the castle. Guys, it's been a really good day. Thank you so much for joining us. We got a lot more stuff coming out and you are absolutely amazing. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like, you know the whole joy right now. But uh, yeah, wow, this place, awesome. Okay, we got a full, full tour video coming out and all the merchandise here at Hong Kong Disney. Those will be coming out next. Thank you for visiting. All right guys, I thought the video was done, but dun dun dun, little did I know. I got you right here, right here. I was walking back with Miles. Amanda was gonna stay and watch some fireworks. And I realized I didn't have my wallet. I lost my wallet. So for those of you playing bingo at home, yeah, lost my wallet, credit cards, everything that we had, lost it. So we ran back to uh, Shanghai Disney, I'm sorry, to Hong Kong Disneyland. Got there and hold on, I gotta figure out where we are. So Miles and I literally are running and I'm like, run with me, stay up. We get there and I went and lost the found. I call Amanda and she's freaking out. And she's like, where do you think I lost? I'm like, I don't know. So she's running over to the Iron Man experience. I run to guest services and they're like, what does your wallet look like? I'm like, it's blue. It's got a Daisy Duck sticker on it. And they're like, well, check. And it came back. They had it, it had been turned in. I think I lost it when we went on that roller coaster, the Grizzly Gulch roller coaster, and I didn't realize it. Just trying to figure that out. Maybe, or maybe right after that, we bought a Coca-Cola. Maybe I lost it there, we're not sure, but they turned it in, credit cards are all there, my ID's there, uh, our hotel key's there, and our, nothing was being used. So, just, wow, that's a heart-wrenching moment. But for those of you who are playing the bingo, congratulations, I think you just got another score. <laughs> Hong Kong Disneyland is amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing. We had the best time. I lost my wallet, but I found my wallet, so everything's okay. And we had so much fun. It was burning hot, but we had a great time, and we loved it. I hope you liked the video.